This is soft tissue. It could be soft tissue anywhere in the body. You can see generally fibrous tissue here. You can see fat here. It doesn't look like it's associated with anything diagnostic organ-wise to tell where it came from. But you can see that in the soft tissue there is a lot of chronic inflammation as well. So here's uh, basically chief, chiefly fibroblasts and collagen. Here's some blood vessels. Here's some areas of inflammatory cells. And if you zoom in on some of these inflamed areas, we can see that there are these uh, multinucleated foreign body giant cells. Now, you know multinucleated foreign body giant cells are associated with granulomas due to any cause, including foreign body granulomas. So, our luck in this case is that if we move along a little bit and we find some more of these foreign body granulomas and giant cells like we see here, 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 and here, we can perhaps see that the actual uh, slightly refractile material that this is reacting to. This is some type of foreign material. Could it be fiber? Could it be a crystal? Could it be suture material? It probably could be anything. Uh, one way to uh, emphasize it even more is to do a polarized microscopy of the microscope and this may glitter or polarize or be slightly or significantly more refractile to everything else around it. This is a classical foreign body granulomatous reaction with multinucleated giant cells to foreign material. Thank you very much.